Nope, nope. VTech. Guys, I'm officially in the JDM family. All right, guys to the channel. I am super, super excited. I have been waiting to post this video very patiently, but impatiently. And I do want to just dive right in, get to the point. I don't want you guys waiting anymore. You've been waiting long enough. And I want to show you the new baby in the family. So I do want to start from the rear. So it's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, look at I've got this beautiful, beautiful 2005 S2000. It is AP2 and I'm excited to get started on it, but I do want to give you guys a little walk around. I think I do want to start with the rear here. The trunk space is phenomenal. Oh, Mason, wait, look what's in here. What? Wow. No, but for real, look what's in here. Today's video is brought to you by Built Bar. Built Bar has the most amazing tasting protein bars without all the chalky protein taste that absolutely nobody likes. So I've already dug into my Built Bars and my favorite flavor, this salted caramel right here. It is literally chef's kiss. This is gonna have you addicted right off the bat. I honestly have to remind myself not to eat this like a candy bar because of how delicious this one tastes. At just 130 calories and 15 grams of protein, I know that I'm gonna be able to hit my macros guilt-free. They offer 18 different flavors. You will never have to get tired of one flavor. They have a peanut butter brownie. Peanut butter brownie. That's like my favorite thing to eat. If this thing is anything like the salted caramel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a heyday. I'm gonna be addicted. If you want to give Built Bar a try and save some money on these tasty bad boys right here. Click the link in my description below. It will give you 10% off your purchase of Built Bar. So go get them now. Go get them. They're delicious. All right, all right, all right. We will get back to talking about the S2000. So it does have depot taillights, which I really like the look of them. The only thing is that the fitment is not the greatest. But I do like the look of them. They are super bright, but I probably will eventually replace them, most likely. It also has an OEM spoiler and an exhaust, which honestly, I have no clue what exhaust is on it. It was not listed, but it does have this name. I think it's like Sebring. I've never heard of it, to be honest. So if anybody in the comments is familiar, let your girl know. Moving on more with the car, I do want to say, obviously it has RPF ones on it, I know a lot of people are like 50-50 on these, but I do think they genuinely look very nice, very clean on the S2000, so I'm not mad about it. It also does have the R1 drilled rotors, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Moving on, it does have side skirts. They may look carbon fiber, but they're actually wrapped not very good in <laughs> carbon fiber. <laughs> but these will stay like this for a little while. They'll eventually get changed at some point in time. It does have an OEM front lip on it. Looks really good. Um, the last owner said that it did have a replica on it and he was being super picky and stubborn and he didn't like the fit of it. And it was super loose, so he went and got an OEM to fit and look better and it's nice and tight up in there. Hey, yo! As far as suspension wise, it does have buddy coils on it, which to be fair, I've also never heard of those. They are very clunky and they make a lot of noise. So that is probably going to be one of the first things done with the car because I do want it to have a smoother, better drive and whether I'm gonna go air ride or not, we shall see. Um, I do want you guys to comment down below what you're thinking, what we should do with the car as far as air ride or not wrapping it, painting it, anything. Because this car does need a little bit of TLC. There are some little scratches and dings 
as you can see, which honestly wasn't really my main concern when it came to finding an S2000 because I already knew that I wanted to put a lot of time and work into it. So paint and dents and scratches weren't really my main concern. It was really the amount of care that went into this vehicle in past owners that really drew me into this S2000 and why I chose this one. For how old this car is and the seats just look phenomenal. There's literally no major tears. Obviously, you're gonna have some damage here from over time, but look at the dash. No cracks, no scratches. It's really beautiful. And an amazing thing, this soft top was just replaced a year ago, and it looks amazing, which I'll eventually show you once it's up. And now it is time to show you guys the engine bay. As far as the engine bay, there is not much done performance-wise to this car. There is, if you can see over here, some few headers. Beautiful. And then also the K&N intake, and that's literally, that's it. Look what I can do. I can do that. You can't do that on a Volkswagen. <laughs> I know you can't do that on a Volkswagen. And it's funny because I don't know why, but that just makes me think even more of Fast and Furious and just like popping your hood and being there and like showing off. Yeah, I can do that now. All right, well, I am so excited at the fact that I got to share the purchase of my first JDM car with you guys. And I'm really excited to see where this build goes and what I choose to do with it in the end. I'm really excited to hear your guys' opinions and maybe your thoughts on what I should do. Um, I know this video is gonna maybe feel a little, the timeline's gonna feel a little weird. I am gonna be inserting some clips after this of when I bought the car and like picked it up and did some driving with it. This was honestly the absolute most, like I thought the GLC was a impulse buy. This was the most impulse buy I've ever bought for a car ever or honestly anything. I literally was looking on Craigslist on Sunday. I was like, I really want an S2000. And then I found this one and bought it on Monday. So yeah, it was, it was <laughs> so last minute, but I'm super excited because I have been wanting this car for a very long time and I'm so excited to have finally gotten it and share it with you guys. But for now, insert some slow-mo clips. We literally need VTEC instantly. It's gonna be fun. This is gonna be the official, Randy's gonna be the official first ride in the car. So I'm excited. It's no. so weird having a top down. So did you just get this because the, the, the other car was not available? Oh yes, yes. <laughs> so this is, this took the placement of the temptation for the other car. <laughs> I didn't want to give that names out. Names could not yeah. be said. But it's unfortunate because that car was supposed to get, you know, they kept telling me first week of January, first week of January, and then now they're it's like- It's the last week of January. Yeah, they're like, now first week of March, first week, I'm like, I can't wait. Like, smell it's yes. just the interior it's like it's just modern enough but being simple it's funny that you said the smell because literally the whole way home i was like man it, this is this is it yeah new cars just don't hit that way you know like there's a time and place for a new car smell but i don't know i prefer like an older car Oh, you're high. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't want to go play. This is my favorite hat right now. This is the, the hat you got me for Christmas. It's so funny. It's a very simplistic car. You just got a start and audio control. Yep. That's it. There's not much to it. <laughs> we need to race the Mark IV in this. Mm. But you'll see the difference now being in the passenger seat. Oh, that felt quick. That felt good. It's so funny. This is so slow. <laughs> it but is. I have so much fun driving this more than I did the GLC. Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't know about that. That thing just made you sit when you launched it. It did, but like this is like the authentic and the no nostalgia and then the noise, like the intake just sounds so good. Uh. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a, a little jumpy and spotty with the way that everything was placed, but with how last minute it kind of was and all the filming, um, it ended up coming together. I really actually enjoyed this video and I hope you did as much as I did. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed. And I hope that you are enjoying these videos. There's going to be so much more to come from the S2000. It is so fresh. It is new on this channel. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. But until then, I love you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.